Hey guys, Logan here, great to see you and welcome to another video. Today I want to update you on the latest from the developers of Battlefield 5. We recently got this image that shows us what we can expect in the game post launch. We known for a while that many things was going to be released post launch and here we have it. Note that every chapter will feature new events, missions and challenges themed on the chapter. So okay, let's break it down. Okay, the first chapter called Overture. This will take place between early December and January and will include some exciting stuff. First of all, the practice range. It's back and it's very welcome. Last seen in Battlefield 4. The practice range is a great way if you want to learn a weapon, how it's used, and maybe learn how to fly or drive a tank before you head out onto the battlefield against real players or people. This will be set on the desert map of Hamada. And then we have the vehicle cosmetics, if you didn't know, the cosmetic for the vehicles will be post launch, but the cosmetic for your soldiers will be at launch, so don't worry about that. We are getting a new location as well, it says Tank Battles Belgium, and I quote DICE. Overture brings the Panzerstorm map, where the German mechanized war machine plugs into Belgium, smashing into allied defense forces. On this tank focused arena you roll across ridges, ditches and elevated roads with massive force of armor, carving a path of destruction through the countryside. Along with this chapter we we'll get an addition to the single player war stories, The Last Tiger. Okay, chapter 2, Lightning Strikes. This will be between January till March. This chapter will be focused on vehicle warfare and rapid infantry movement, so a lot of challenges built around vehicle play. First major thing to launch is the combined arms. Here you can join up to 3 friends and play co-op missions across several maps. This is a feature I've been talking about in other videos and now we know when to expect it. I know this co-op feature was present in Battlefield 3, but I actually didn't play it that much. But I'm looking forward to play this one. We are getting two more game modes as well, a new kind of rush is one of them and say goodbye to MCOM station and hello to bombs as you take on this classic game mode. Note that this is only available during this chapter. The second game mode is called Squad Conquest. Conquest is a classic game mode of Battlefield and one of my favorite, but this time it's even more intense. In Squad Conquest only 16 players, 2 squads per team will fight for map domination. And then we have chapter 3, Trial by Fire, which is set to start in March. Finally the Battle Royale Firestorm is released, and I quote DICE. DICE and Criterion starting the fire with Battlefield 5's Battle Royale experience. Firestorm elevates the mode by bringing in the best of a Battlefield is known for. Mix a shrinking playing field with trademark Battlefield elements such as team play, powerful vehicles and destruction. I'm really looking forward to try this firestorm and I know I have many members of my platoon, the Claws of Logan, eager to play as well. And it looks like we are heading to Greece and it's not on vacation because here we can join the massive invasion along the Cretan coast. The allied side is desperate to cling to the island under attack by the Axis, attempting to break the through the British defense air superiority and paratroops. This map brings all out war defined by a power struggle between tank control versus air superiority. And as I said in the start of the video, every chapter will bring events, missions and challenges and I'm sure we are getting a lot of new weapons and gadgets during these chapters as well. But I think that does it for this video, do you have any questions just leave them down there. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell to be up to speed with everything new, hit the like button and don't forget to leave your comment down below. I hope to see you all in my next video, this is Logan signing out.